Wow, that was a wild ride. In case you missed it, here's what happened. Boyle was found in a field Her lungs cut out probably someone's meal A copycat killer is on the loose And he's taken over every page of the news Marissa sure impaled on a wall Does this guy respect women at all? Gave the doctor such a terrible smile And made sure Georgia couldn't escape the fire I was there, it's not the picture, that story's mine I will tattle on his crimes. Well, Graham, he took Abigail. He was just in time. Jack was on her tail. He took her to Minnesota, unaware of the monster he would become. This man's delusional, insane, says he killed this girl inside his brain. But we found no trace, none of her showed up. Well, except for that ear Graham coughed up. I was there, it's not the picture, that story's mine. This killer won't get away, cause I will tattle on his crimes. This just in, Will Graham has been locked up. It was a matter of time before he got caught. Told you he would snap, and now he's paying the cost. We don't know if he'll be convicted or not, but one thing's for sure, you know. The doctor is in the building. Can you hear the patient screaming? I can't. Can you hear the psychos killing? I can't. Can you hear the money rolling? Or hear the click of cameras flashing? Can you see my picture printing? I can't. Just call me greatness, oh call me greatness It's what I do, it's what I am, it's what I'll be And with Will Graham I know I'll proceed to be the jewel of Baltimore psychiatry Just let me help you, let me help you Open your mind, let me inside, let me see Dear Will Graham, Mr. Graham, I'll be in debt for your sweet, kind compliancy you are quite the topic of conversation in psychiatric circles, Mr. Graham. Am I? A unique cocktail of personality disorders and neuroses that made you a highly skilled profiler. Or at least, that's what you say. Can you hear the doctor scraping? I can. Can you hear the judgment screaming? I can. Can you hear the conscience calling? Or hear the freedom pleading, begging? Can you hear him sympathizing? I can't. Just call me crazy. Oh, call me crazy. It's what he thinks, it's what he hopes and believes. Cause if I am, he gets a payout from all his hard-earned high-priced book sale royalties. Just let me be free, free to be me. But I'm not, I'm trapped, I'm stuck, I'm cornered here. He thinks I'm an infamous killer, but only so he can write his next bestseller. Already famous, already made it No, you're not, you're still playing in the dirt You're just jealous, your freedom's missing Need a miracle to leave this place unheard Introverted, danger flirted Now I'm in the snare of Scrooge's magpie Who's looking for a new thing that shines And he's gleaming at the special mind of mine So, Will, how does that make you feel? What did you say? I said, how does that make you feel? Makes me feel like I'm sitting in a dunking tank and you're lobbing softballs hoping to make a splash, but you keep missing the target. Fortunately, I have time for a few more lobs. You're in my hospital. You're my patient now, Will. I'm not talking to you, Frederick. I want to talk to Dr. Lecter. 
Will Graham has asked to see me. I'd like to see him. I am intrigued by him despite all that's happened. Asking to see you betrays his intent to manipulate you. Agreeing to see him betrays your intent to manipulate him. He is still influencing but I miss him. Confuse your needs with those of your patients. Will's more than a patient. He's changing you and you're changing him. And comfortable with those implications. The way we think is flawed. These flaws are systematic. Even when irrational, we're predictable. Obsessed with Will Graham. I'm intrigued. Obsessively. And he'll take advantage of that. You are obsessed. And not metaphorically. Where you're going, there's no turning back. Will is my friend. He's not yours to defend. Sees his own mentality as grotesque. Who he is, he cannot repress. Hello, Will. Dr. Lecter. Lost in thought. Not lost, not anymore. I used to hear my thoughts inside of my skull in the same voice as my own. And now my inner voice sounds just like yours. I can't get you out of my head Our close bond has its consequences A blurring of self and friend I'd rather be enemies instead The light of friendship will never reach us Not for a million years I imagine it's easier to blame me For these murders than to feel guilty Sure is your inner voice can help you take control Accept responsibility for what you've done Putting those thoughts to words encourages clarity I have clarity about you Our conversations were only ever about you Opening your eyes to the truth of who you are and what you've become now you must accept the things you've done What you did to me is in my head And when I find it your career is dead There will be a reckoning I've got huge faith in you, Will I always have How are the dogs? Good. Winston keeps running away, but the others are adjusting. Where does Winston go? Home. He's not gonna find me there. Not today, but someday I hope you and your dogs can all return home. With the right defense. I have no representation. You keep firing your lawyers. They're the FBI's lawyers. Besides, what defense do you think I have? We could argue unconsciousness. Neurological dysfunctions like encephalitis can be considered an excusing condition. Presuming I did it. Your mind was on fire. You had no control, much less memory of it. What if I remembered how this was done to me? What if you remember what you did? You believe Hannibal. I believe 
like the Will Graham sitting across from me is incapable of killing. You lost your mind, and for some periods of time, you are not the man I'm seeing. I hear Hannibal's voice deep in my mind saying things he's never said to me. It's not my imagination. They're lost memories. Have you ever helped a patient recover memories? I have something that might work. Close your eyes, let your limbs feel heavy. You're in a place so safe and relaxing, no matter how deep you go. My voice will follow. Now that you're safe, listen. Tell me what you This isn't working. What did you see? Will, what did you see? Will Graham, Kate Brunel, Office of the Inspector General, FBI Oversight. Skipping the preamble and getting to business. Nobody's trying to prove your innocence. Only whether or not you knew you did it. That's what you get, take it or leave it. The FBI borrowed my imagination, brought into the field an unstable agent who saw too much, looked so far, he trapped himself in the mind of a killer. Alana Bloom is hard at work at your defense. What she decided is your only chance. According to her, the FBI made you a murderer. You can see why she isn't popular. What's your opinion? You're an intelligent psychopath under our noses. Conspire with a neurologist to fake a diagnosis. An illness to become your alibi. Was that your design? Regardless of what I say, that's what the court will take away. If you plead guilty, you'll spare us a trial. I'll supervise your stay and make it worthwhile. I don't belong in the vein of Baltimore psychiatry. I'm not another one of Chilton's patsies. You can't stop me from pleading innocent. Your manipulation couldn't be more blatant. You lost your mind very publicly Some would argue theatrically You're in the audience, it isn't my show you're watching Only me doing the talking You'll be given the death penalty That's the inevitable reality Both of us try to save your life A skating hall to a carnival ride the FBI's professional suicide Bear himself to the court witness stand Cops and I will touch the same hand The unconsciousness defense is weak Will Graham, your future looks bleak Self-preservation to gain the appeal Cast my line and then I'll reel In the mouth of the fish I strike save my own life How to best provide a psychological profile with Hannibal Lecter You're not performing an evaluation for legal purposes or serving as an expert witness we're just talking Then let's talk about Hannibal's personality He's a social antisocial And what does that mean? He's not easily influenced You have that in common Unshapeable until he met Will Graham What did he see in Will? He saw himself at least someone as unique as himself What did you see in Mr. Graham? I saw an asset and a friend 
That was your first mistake, Hannibal made them too. Mistakes will continue to make my disappointment of Hannibal does not exempt you. We'll grab his own finished crossword puzzle, the boxes you two are trying to fill. But the pieces don't fit in this jigsaw, the way you went about it was all wrong. I don't know how to help him. I worry he's a psychopath, but I also worry he isn't. Psychopaths are narcissists. Narcissists often masquerade as sensitive introverts. Well? Hi, Jack. Where were you just now? Gone fishing. What are you doing here? I wanted to see if you were still the same man that I met in your classroom the day it all began. I remember him, memories are all I have. In fact, I found a peculiar one that doesn't quite match. I was certain, almost certain, this was Hannibal's doing. I could have sworn I saw a piece of the plot he was brewing. It's a funny thing, Dalvin. It's not natural, you know. We latch on to one version of the truth and it's hard to let go. I had nothing to prove it, not even a memory. Had nothing you remember and you expect me to believe. You know that's meaningless. Not for me, he's an expert at his craft. Left just enough evidence to make sure that I was trapped. We've investigated your claims about Dr. Lecter. All his clothes were combed through every stitch and fiber. We took his DNA, we took his fingerprints and found nothing. This man isn't who you say he is. You let the fox into the hen house. You'll wish you listened to the mouse. You stood in that field and described yourself. I described Hannibal. He has you under his spell. I can't hear this anymore. You're not the intelligent psychopath you're looking for. Goodbye, Will. You may not believe me now, but you will. I'm trying to place myself Somewhere in the frame of my mind But I've lost my bearings I've wandered far across the line Not a landmark in sight to tell me who I am I hear whispers through the halls But I just don't understand Yourself is incomplete, you are the sum of your memories There are pieces of you missing There are pieces you can't see I'm afraid to see I can't bear to look I don't know who I am anymore And that scares me to death The thought that I'm not who I was before your mind replaces memories with fantasies Childhood fairy tales, something imagined It may feel like you're losing your sanity Warping the truth of what really happened I don't know which one is worse Believing this was all my doing Or believing that you did it and you did this to me Hannibal isn't responsible And neither are you The only way to move forward Is if we get to the truth All that felt real was the betrayal Everything I thought I knew about you fell apart before my very eyes I needed trust and you gave me lies You can trust me I'm very confused Of course you are with all that's happened to you Oh, 
let us help you. We'll let me help you. I, I need your help. It's good to see you. Don't know how I feel about seeing you, but I'll let you know what I do. Does Jack know you're here? No. He shouldn't be surprised. There's a lot of people who've gone missing. I've got files and pictures, all you need. Six bodies found by a river dam. You want to know how he's choosing them? Slaps a target on their back and follows them home. Then he abducts them for his own. Preserves them as if they were for show. Take a look, will you, and tell me what you know. Arrange the pictures side, side by side. side. Variety in skin tones and eyes tie. Collecting enough bodies, bodies for balance. balance. What he's creating is a, a color, color palette. Thank you. His name is Roland Unber. Same profile as the other victims. Lived alone, disappeared from home. And a large dose of heroin in his system. The only difference in the puncture saw simultaneously torn in perfect uniform. He wasn't unstrung, he was ripped. It lies in the imperfections, he wasn't up to stand who did aggravated our artist enough to rip him down. He was discarded far away by 400 miles, nowhere near the dam where the first victims were found. The same way a dandelion discards its seeds, cast in every direction but his own. The dead one hit the water, look closely at the crackler, their lungs are dry, where the painting lies, was more to more alive, in the cracks of life lived, you can't tell when the injuries were sustained, not weakness in the cracks just age, there's gotta be more fiber or debris, find the clues to track the bodies, to the location they were at, before the river dam, what if it's not what they have in common? Arrange the pictures side by side Variety in skin tones and artist's side. Collecting enough bodies for balance What he's creating is a color palette Fond of aesthetics for aesthetic sake If not so horrific it would be of good taste He sees color for what it is And beds it into his lively prints Just one of many bodies to be strokes of paint on the color palette What a lovely insight, Miss Cass Fascinating, I'm quite wrapped It's almost as if Will Graham himself were in the room with us Yes, it is How's Will Graham? Is there a reason you didn't come to me before you talked to him? I figured you'd say no I wouldn't have let you go But I knew you'd want to say yes you're right again, I confess. I had to see him because I knew you wouldn't. If you had gone like you wanted, I wouldn't have had to. Why didn't you? Well, Graham is either delusional or a psychopath. Neither of those options I can trust. So don't trust him. Just listen to him. I've been listening, and this is what I hear. If he happens to be delusional, if he happens to be delusional, and he pushed himself right over. And he pushed himself right over. If he winds up to be a psychopath, everything in my gut is wrong. You think he's innocent? I don't know what I think. I think he still wants to save lives. To get well in the saddle, I've been every rule possible. There's speculation and investigation. A psyche bow waits for me to determine my competency. I'm sorry, Jack. If you don't want me to go back, I won't. We didn't have this conversation. You do what you believe it is your job to do. Do you know what your job is? I know what my job is. Then do it. 
I've been advised to stay on this side of the white line. Patients have taken to urinating on the therapists. I would argue drawing a line might encourage a pissing contest. I'm not interested in a pissing contest with you, Dr. Lecter. Please, pull up your chair. Hope our friendship feels closer today Instead of light years away Friends share a symmetrical relationship Their light together is an eclipse But patient and psychiatrist That's a relationship unbalanced Unbalanced by a power difference We're only having conversations Last we talked in conversation, you bestowed a threat on me Declared with ill motivation the promise of a reckoning I did. I can't claim unconsciousness on that one. You search in your head for tools to incriminate me Not much in there I can recognize lately He who confronts the world's monsters Takes care lest he too becomes a monster Your reality is distorted, it doesn't make sense Memories changing the truth of events I'm realizing that Beverly Katz has come to see you. Yes. We wouldn't want Alana Bloom to worry. You're inviting the morbid to stun to your recovery. To be here is to suffer. The only way to cease is finding meaning. It gives me normalcy. The violence. <laughs> the structure of understanding the violence. You are missing pieces of yourself, cautious of what you replace them with. You stare too long into the abyss and allow it to gaze back. What do you see in the pictures she shows you? Everybody is a brushstroke, not strung but stitched up. A palette of color, a, a human mural. Why is he doing it? Like me and you. He's missing pieces too Dr. Lecter has advised me against dwelling on anything morbid I know you want to stop these murders as much as I do I do But I'm gonna need something in return Anything you need, I can talk to the chief. Chilton? He's being very cooperative. <laughs> he loves when I have visitors in his office recording every word. Okay. Try me. What do you want? I want you to ignore every shred of evidence against me. I can't do that. You haven't made it easy. As the days continue to pass, I wonder how many bodies this artist will add to his macabre crayon pack. Say I were to ignore the evidence against you. What then? Strike it from your mental record. Start over. If I'm guilty, you'll find more evidence. If I'm not guilty, maybe you'll find that too. All right, I'll do all I can to try and understand. Looking for evidence to prove the man behind it isn't you. Good. Let me have the file then. I'll let you know what I think. Do you mind if I do this privately? Yes. The skin is discolored, but not like the other victims. You look fairly well preserved, so why would I consider throwing you away? Did Roland Umber have any prior substance abuse? Heroin. High tolerance for opioid stitches, he destroyed, tore himself free, and ran far past the trees. How did he end up in the water? Took a risk, took a dive, better than back in the hive, another color in the mural. Roland Umber escaped his peril. Umber got away. From where? He needs somewhere private to create his heart. An abandoned warehouse or a farm. Upstream and close to water, the body's left not much farther. I'm curious, what did Hannibal Lecter have to say about Mr. Umber? Thinks the killer tore him down and dumped his body like the others. Uh, that may be what he said, but not necessarily what he thinks. 
Missing pieces and replacing them with inky black Hannibal and I can never go back Forming theories to prove him guilty Putting myself together again There is no how or why Only Now you're just taking advantage. You're gonna burn me out before my trial, and then where will I be? Can't afford to let you bring yourself out over nothing, but maybe for something. What would Jack say? Jack Crawford's excellent administrative instincts are not often tempered by mercy. If you brought him as a safety net, I've fallen through it before. No offense, but you're the reason I'll be fighting for my life in court. I devoted nearly all of my time to this case It's hard to focus on anything else When there's an artist using people as paint I could really use your help We used to believe that the last thing we see Is fixed on our dying eyes What image lies within this retina is it hellish or is it divine? I made you pliable, molded you, sculpted you, and sealed you. The vision of a dead eye this is my design i am fixed and unseen but someone else has seen me they were here and they changed something messed with my design they ruined my eye one of these things is not like the others one of these things just doesn't belong out of all these bodies stitched together one of you is simply wrong who are you why are you so different i didn't put you here someone else did you are a cataract in my divine eye you are not my desire the killer's in the mural He's dead among the bodies Sewn into his own work of art What happened to his leg? He took a piece of him The question is who did it? He must have a friend You may not know me But I know you We are very much the same But different that's true you and I are victims of Hannibal's lies. Precisely the reason why I'm severing my ties. I wonder how he looks through a psychiatrist's eyes. Can you see right through this devil in disguise? He always wears his person suit. It's impossible to truly see his point of view. But this is what he thinks is best for you Little do you know he is obsessed with you He's not the man you thought you knew Do you believe me? Yes, I believe. You may be traumatized But I know you will survive What's happened? What's happening to me? You still have a chance. You can turn this all around. You can point away from all the evidence they found. I promise you this. After everything is through, they'll believe you. But he leaves no evidence Except for his arrogance Read between the lines and I know that you'll find 
exactly what you need to expose his darker side. But I'm running out of time. If he were in your place, he would do the same. He would say everyone but him is to blame. But the difference between you and Hannibal is This is the story of Will Graham, a killer masquerading as a mild mannered man. Asked to profile a man so vile, Graham wasn't the same as when he began. You see, he has what he calls pure empathy. He can think like anyone, like you or like me. Jack Crawford exploited his abilities. The case of Will Graham is exemplary. I'd argue that he is the smartest in the room. He feeds off the energy these killers exude. At any given moment, don't know what he'll do. His imagination is limitless too. He understood how this murder was thought. So easily unraveled his evil plot. After he cut his daughter's throat, Will Grimm fired ten shots. That's how he killed Garrett Jacob Hobbs. But Hobbs never left him. He lived inside his head, influencing him even after he was dead. Graham's vision was so vivid, that body full of lead. He killed three young women, or so is alleged. Graham saved Abigail from her father, that's true. But not too long after, he tried to eat her too. And I assure you, he succeeded, for what's left of her was eaten. He didn't even have the patience to chew. I call our first witness, Jack Crawford to the stand. How did you meet the defendant, Will Graham? I met him when we opened the Evil Minds Museum. It was the name of the place that we disagreed on. He was intelligent and arrogant and on the spectrum for sure. But I assure you, his mind was very well matured. He was an FBI because he couldn't pass the tests. Yes. Yet you trusted him in the field more than the rest. Of course he worked under my supervision And his thinking like a killer was part of that decision Not just killers, he can think like anybody The code of any person's mind, he can copy The supernatural power is really something If I didn't know better, I'd call him a supervillain But horrendous murders Forty pieces of evidence Thinks like a killer cause that's what he is Enjoyed the work, it wasn't torment Now that's where you're wrong He hated every second of it He didn't think that, I know for a fact Not one bit I am the one that kept making him do it Then why, given the choice, did he refuse to quit? Because he was saving lives So he decides who lives and who dies If anyone is to blame, here is me I was warned that if I pushed well, I would break him Now here we are in trial for his life Cause I heard all their advice and I ignored them drink I'd like to buy him a bottle he said I killed because he drove me insane he paved the road for your defense he didn't say I was in the scent innocence isn't a verdict it's guilty or not it's not law it's advertising no one cares what feelings you've got advertising is vulgar and unfair boo-hoo so's the law there's no real justice here we're simply manipulating to save ourselves They don't want your innocence, they want you to burn in hell Unconsciousness comes gift-wrapped with a pretty little bow They can say you did it, but we say you didn't know Thank you If I take the moral high ground with you, I'll get you killed I think I opened your mail 
This year was cut from a corpse less than two days ago. Before the trial started, what else do we know? No prince besides a courier, paralegal, and lawyer. Whoever did this was not a first-timer. One thing's for sure, Will Graham didn't do it. Although, I wouldn't be surprised. The timing was deliberate, choreographed. They chose the best time to make an impact. Such a gift has significance. A gift from who? From whoever killed those girls. He said that person was you. Perhaps he was half right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The prosecution calls Freddie Lowndes to the stand. How was your relationship with Abigail Hobbs? We were just like sisters on Unbreakable Bond. Did the two of you? ever talk about Graham. She saw him as a father till she felt threatened by him. Did Will Graham ever threaten you? He told me it wasn't very smart to piss off a man who thought about killing people for a living. I believed him. I was terrified. You spend so much time with victims and murderers. So what about this threat left you so disturbed? Well, Graham was no victim. He was something else. Something you would find in the seventh circle of hell. This is all hearsay, Your Honor. We'd argue excited utterance. I'll allow it. Abigail told me she thought he would kill her. Kill her and eat her just like her father. I wish I had listened, kept her away from that man. Do you blame yourself for her death? I blame Will Graham. Your witness... Miss Lowndes, I've only been recently retained on the case, so forgive me for not having all the details. Can you remind me how many times you've been sued for libel? Six. Six. How many times did you settle? Six. Six. Thank you. Nothing further. You and I spoke at length about Hobbs. We had both agreed that she was in on the job. I remember our discussion. Just chose not to mention it. Nobody asked, so it's not my problem. Abigail was a frightened girl who trusted Graham. Then he went and slaughtered her like a spring lamb. Your testimony made her death sound like it was premeditated. Murder, Jack. Her murder. Did that conversation with Hobbs even happen? I guess you could say we're looking out for our friends. Identified the ear. Nope, just the knife that cut it off. It was Will Graham's matches the cuts on Abigail Hobbs. It was presented as evidence, went to the evidence room. Checked out by a bailiff, and it never came back. Name was Andrew Sykes. Then we find Andrew Sykes and find who committed this heinous act. Some warm welcome and a resting piece of theater. It's Will Graham's greatest hits, not, not a copycat. Copy it's a repeater. Are we addressing the elephant in the room? The, the charred, charred, mutilated elephant in the room. Could we have been so wrong? Was it not Will Graham all along? Graham practically took selfies with his victims There's more than enough evidence to convict him It was gift wrapped, that's the key Just like Cassie Boyle Field Kabuki There wasn't evidence before And there hasn't been anything since He ate a girl 
girl's ear for God's sake. Who knows how much else ever he ate? Tell me, Jack, what impact could this have on Will's trial? This murder so winked out like seeds Wonder who could have done these things Is this the killer they are looking for? Or could this be something more? This murder raises doubts about the case against Graham Your team provided the evidence The overwhelming evidence Then you understand the significance of this act that it made me question it we heard your testimony are you sure this isn't to clear your own name yes i'm sure i'm not why do you want will graham to be guilty i couldn't care less either verdict it's the same sight was murdered and mutilated just like the others display details of will's crimes that weren't made public will graham isn't saying he did Despite gaps in memory, Will maintained innocence. Whatever Brower's strategy, it's a new line of defense. That's for Mr. Brower to tell me, Agent Crawford, not you. If Brower brings up this murder, he can present it in evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. My admirer, what do you see? I shoot the bailiff bullet rips through his chest I leave his body impaled on a stag's head He will die thinking that we were friends Just how I planned it This is my design, I carve his face into a terrible smile He's just the ink I fill my pen with, it's vile Cut off his ear and send it as an admirer This is my tribute this is my design. It's not the same killer. He murdered his victim first, then mutilated him. Whether it's me he thinks he's copying or someone else, that, that's not how we roll. How do you roll? Cassie Boyle was still breathing. He heard this girl screaming. Her eyes were gleaming. When he cut out her lungs, tears were streaming. Georgia Mansion was burned alive. The killer planted the comb. Static started the fire. When he cut off Abigail's ear, her heart was still beating. Then this is a blunt reproduction. <laughs> you knew that already. Would have liked to have been wrong. You mastered Arkham's broom Sweep away the facts that challenge you You hoped that nobody would notice But you noticed Yes, I did I wanted to dispel your doubts once and for all Try to break this spell Your beliefs that are false I want you to believe the best in me As I do you I hope now you see This acolyte has paved the road to your freedom Even Jack Crawford is ready to believe It would be a lie No greater than the lie that binds you here The one that says you are guilty I must admit to selfish motives I don't want you to be here I don't want me to be here either Then you have a choice This killer wrote you a poem, Will are you going to let his love go to waste? Will Graham manifests publicly as an introverted personality. He would have us believe he places on the spectrum somewhere near Asperger's and autism, yet he also claims an empathy disorder. You choose your words very carefully, Dr. Chilton. You chose the word claims. Precisely. He claims a lot of things, Judge. He claims he's this and that. But where is any of his proof? He's lying, and that's a fact. He claims a lot of things, Your Honor, an introverted person. But it's all been one big spoof. Graham needs to learn his lesson. Autism and empathy, that's what he claims to be. But if we look inside his head, it shows a psychopath purebred. 
Nothing but psychopathy. I say it unapologetically. This man manipulates his friends as a means to his end. Well, Graham has never been diagnosed. He won't allow anyone to test him. He has carefully constructed a persona to hide his real nature from the world. He wears it so well, even Jack Crawford couldn't see past it. But you did. He tries a lot of things, Judge tries to get inside your mind But we had no connection for him to use a spellbind He tries a lot of things, your honor, there's no name to define him yet But the confused man he presents wouldn't think to step where he treads So you discount the encephalitis he was suffering as a cause? He managed his illness with the help of his neurologist, whom he murdered for his trouble Thank you, Dr. Chilton You are witness Dr. Chilton Will Graham spend his time catching murderers for the FBI? You don't see a contradiction between that and the cold-blooded killer you describe? He's driven by vanity and sanity and his own whims. No doubt he has the capacity to gravity. You need more than him to survive. Donos dive and to leave Will Graham alive. Heading away from our only option You're leaving your strategy the entire case mid-trial It's reasonable and fashionable, there's a killer on the loose He's got the hallmarks of old Graham and he's untying the noose You suffered an illness, we all saw it happen I didn't see all I didn't see any Did this killer commit the crime? You're being high and mighty, ivory tower reductive Far from the point that we're holding Reasonable doubt That's a win Mistrial Something we could spin Unconsciousness was the best Now we have better Needless to say, doctor, you're needed no longer Who's taking the stand in my place? Defense calls Dr. Hannibal Lecter Describe your relationship with Will Graham I was asked by Jack Crawford to monitor Will's emotional well-being while he consulted on cases. I was never officially his psychiatrist. If you weren't his psychiatrist, what were you? I was meant to be stability judge, I was meant to be his reason, but I failed him and let him down, he feels like committing treason. How did you fail? Meant to be stability, your honor, to determine his condition, but when I had to choose the cause, I couldn't make a decision. I was unable to determine if Will's condition was due to mental illness or stress from his work at the FBI. My mystique was never considering his innocence to the murder of a bailiff from this courthouse. How do you know this, Dr. Lecter? I was asked to consult on this judge for the bailiff killer's profile, and when I compared the crime scenes, the facts were not in denial. You believe the bailiff's murder was committed by the same person guilty of Will Graham's alleged crimes? Profiles aren't evidence, they're opinion. This is hearsay. I'll allow it. I believe there are alarming similarities in the crimes. He accused you of these crimes, doctor, yet here you are defending him. Why are you so bothered about his fate and what becomes of him? He didn't do these things, judge, and when his mind thought that he did, he made a new reality where I took all the blame instead. He couldn't do these things, your honor, wouldn't be living if so. Is my fragile the little lamb might very well have it its road. Your witness. The cause of death for the bailiff A bullet to the heart What about Will Graham's victims? Mutilated to death This is different to a bullet No two crimes are the same Is it common for divergence? No, but some can be named His prejudice taunts him, judge His conclusions are plain bias These are two killers, two cases It would be wrong to deny it I'm ruling this defense inadmissible, but there is sufficient similarity to consider- Mr. Brower, all previous testimony on the matter will be stricken from the record. Thank you, Your Honor.
Justice is blind, mindless and heartless Killed in his chambers here for all to witness How did he get close? There was no struggle, cut up post-mortem Shot in the chest, simple, he removed the heart But no slug, he's got it A trophy of his crime The trial made him valid Psychopaths have a goal, a means to an end He wanted a mistrial He stopped Will's descent, stopped his death sentence Is this the same killer? I don't think it is, I feel like St. Peter The killer exerted control He left behind no evidence the trial was meant to end this Instead it's added a new ring And where the clowns Who's the Ouija? It's not going your way it seems It's not going our way Cause we don't know where it leads I've gotten off track you haven't written your 302 yet I have, but it hasn't gone to your desk Everything I did to Will isn't there Anything in it that you didn't share No You have to force yourself out of this train of thought, Jack The trial was going wrong before this murder It was going wrong because you wanted to believe Will Graham You must be a very good friend to risk everything for him a cogent reminder of the pitfalls of faith in our fellow man. Everyone at one point or another leaves someone behind. Cut him loose or there's a good chance that that someone left behind, today or tomorrow, is going to be you. Before I start asking you questions, I need some confidence you'll be telling me the truth when you answer. What's this? A consent form. A narco interview involving me and you, and our good old pal Sodium Mamadol. A narco interview to uncover abuse loose in my tongue. Lawfully. Is there a drug for memory? Elaborate. What would you use to induce memory loss in a patient, psychotic or otherwise? Hypothetically, what other way would there be? An orthodoxy and a set of skills. Does Hannibal Lecter possess those tools and skills? Previously, he's indicated to me his open-minded view of the things that could be used. I wonder how that conversation came up. Sign here. Deliver sedatives, ethanol, or something more personal. I don't know what it was. It made me lose focus. One flashing strobe light. Oh God, it was so bright. This strobe causes neural The dizziness might cause you to Well. 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 He was inducing seizures, taking simple procedures, abusing my exposed mind, make blackouts in lost time. You would only see a seizure response in a brain afflicted with photosensitive epilepsy. Or something just as damaging, or someone not managing, just like encephalitis used it to make him Midas and profit from the gold he formed. That would suggest a radically unorthodox form of therapy. Yes. I cancelled your appointment after a recent advancement. Is everything alright? He's in a delicate place. We need to give him some space to stop him being confused. He may have been abused. Will. 
Will. Will. Will. This isn't your opinion, isn't your position, isn't he a psychopath? I re-evaluated that, it's not a single condition, but a whole continuum with different mechanisms induced by stimulation. Did you ever use any kind of light stimulation in your treatment? Light stimulation is a standard tool for neurotherapy. It's meant to increase cerebral blood. Evidently, it was overloading his visual cortex, creating seizures, lost time, gaps in his memory, almost strategically, it seems. You're suggesting intentional. Were those talks hypothetical? You always asked what I thought and always gave back not. What are the odds you psychic drove as part of your plot? A bold accusation, Frederick. To know with any certainty if you twisted memories, I'd have to know your thinking under confidentiality. As professional courtesy. We're alike, you and me. the only psychiatrist accused of making a patient kill. We have to stick together. Somebody else was sure partner, another killer. No, he liked to work alone until the second he was shown. There were no signs of a struggle. The second killer has an understanding, enough to search for the unusual canvas, then convince James Gray to become part of it. He's charming, insightful, always a step ahead. You have any idea who that might be? Saying Hannibal Lecter, you haven't stopped ringing that bell. We found nothing on him to sell. Keep the ringing between us, I don't care. He broke my trust. God's sake, Will. You know, I'd say you've lost your mind, but look at where we are. I'm not asking you to believe what you can't prove. I'm asking you to keep searching for the truth. Hannibal Lecter has no That's reason That's why he's to hard to see. He indulges his curiosity to no rational end just for his amusement. You know how hard that is to prove. Been there, done that, I really do. Whimsy, that's what you look for. A hidden clever detail in the corpse. I'll look for clever details, but I am not looking for Hannibal. As long as you're looking, I you look, look out, out there, there and I look in here with clever details that he can't resist. Can you help with this? Zeller's out in the field, otherwise I'd ask him. You were a surgeon, right? I was a doctor and a surgeon. The distinction? A surgeon can examine a mutilated body. Where a life wasted is all a doctor would see. Have you found any evidence on the muralist's friend? It's what I need your help with, as a matter of fact. Not a friend, not even an acquaintance, may not even have known him. They shared an understanding, the, the love, love of heart and killing. killing. So often you open your mouth and I hear Will Graham's words come out. We have an arrangement, he consults on murders, I investigate his accusations. As for you, you think there's a chance he's innocent. I know you do. I believe it's possible. How's your investigation going? So far, nothing but his word. And I'm just relieved he's not saying the killer's you anymore. Who does Will believe killed the muralist? He doesn't know, but he told me what to look for. Only by going deep beneath the skin will the nature of this artist be made clear to you. A clever detail hidden on the corpse. A clever detail that he couldn't resist. Of me, I can finally see stitches and stitches underneath. He took his kidneys.
Kidneys surgically removed? Yes. Dr. Lecter was a surgeon. I know. I asked him to consult on James Gray's autopsy. If you invited him with an actual agenda, Hannibal would know it. Told me to look deep beneath the skin. I thought it was a little corny, even for him. That's just what he'll do With words he'll toy with you he toyed with me for months And pointed me to evidence He's pointing you in another direction You're on a hook, falling for his bait He fits the profile, the background Surgeon, psychiatrist, it is an unsound Stitches under stitches, you say He's a needle in the hay Stay away from Hannibal Lecter Go to Jack, tell him everything I can't bring it up, Will, not until I have proof Even Suddenly if it's, it's so all true If Hannibal's, Hannibal's the, Ripper, the Ripper and he collects his trophies, trophies What does he what do he with does them? He's eating them Hey, have you seen Jack? There was some emergency with his wife. Uh, Dr. Lecter called and asked him to meet at the hospital. Is Mrs. Crawford all right? Mm, Jack wouldn't say. So Hannibal's at the hospital too? This is my chance to catch him. Risk it, go out on a limb. To see if Will was right. Bring proof into the light There she goes into the lion's den She walks through the kitchen and then down to the basement Beverly can't slide a mission I used to have my doubts But going through this house Much too quiet, too orderly A discovery waits for me Spotless basement and then opening the fridge Finding them with courage Gotcha Two kidneys gift wrap, take these to the lab Run some tests to ensure Will's justice Oh my god Do I hear somebody in my house? Have I caught another little mouse? I carefully make my way down Stalking without a sound Above shadows on the floor Behind Beverly opens the door Wine like blood, she lifts her hand A shadow of Hannibal in the flesh I stand still as a silhouette Breaking in you will regret You thought you could get away That was a mistake I'm afraid in there, Jack. You should prepare yourself. She's one of yours. Which of 
At 9 a.m. this morning I received a call from Freddie Louse, said she had a lead, discovered a body, one of ours it seemed, I was among the first on the scene. And separated, our, our best, best friend, friend desecrated. Her killer must pay for his crime. We will bring proof into the light. Leave us alone. I'm putting my trust in you after all you've put us through to do what you do best. Call this one final test. I strangle Beverly Cats, see the fear in her eyes. She knows who I am, sees through my disguise. I squeeze out every precious drop of life, feel her pulse weaken and seize. This is my design. I freeze her body to preserve its form. Bring the steel to flesh, she cuts like stone. I pull her apart like the scene of a crime Layer by layer, this is my design I will leave no usable evidence But she found something She found me What she found is already gone But what did I take from her? It's the Chesapeake Ripper The Ripper and the copycat one killer, two masks, one monster, Beverly helped me see it, looking for a connection between these two killers, and you think she found it, she found something, where were you last night, I was at the hospital with my wife, Told Beverly to go to you, tell you everything she knew. Instead, she went looking for evidence. She met the Ripper Jack, she'll be missing organs. Who is he, Will? Beverly made her connection to the Ripper. You have to make your own, Jack. I can't make it for you. Then what did I bring you here for? To say goodbye. good to see you again, Will. Let me rephrase that. It's good to see you in here, where you belong. Thank you for coming. Uh-huh. Beverly Cat. She was murdered by the Chesapeake Ripper, wasn't she? I don't want to talk about it. I found her in that glass. I have the right to ask. But if you won't talk about your friend, let's talk about mine. You ever think about Abigail Hobbs? Often. I grieve her. You killed her, murdered her in cold blood. You're a psycho, not misunderstood. Why am I here? You know your worth, this story's yours, you've done it before.
before I need you to tattle on his crimes You want me to tattle on whose crimes? This just in, it wasn't me I was framed and he walks free This killer loves to gloat as he did Left me as his scapegoat You have an awful lot to say Making excuses to my face Guilty or not, you were there And the evidence points to you Enough your demographic, that's what I want to discuss. Murderers and people obsessed with murderers. The man who killed the bailiff and judge at my trial. I have an admirer, and so do you. He fits your demographic too. Think about function, here's enough to dig your teeth in. The bailiff gave me an alibi, and the judge took it away. So naturally, he has to pay. Such as these dig deep on the ground They get rid of the bodies till they are found Read the news, have their cake and eat it too In the case you can't scrape up proof Just establish a line of communication To send an invitation I believe this man wanted to help me Even though his motives for that are unclear he killed people in my name, I'd like to ask him why Breaking all the laws that usually abide You have me on your side You know your worth, this story's yours We'll, we'll make, make a network, network. The, the articles, articles, the blueprints, and this admirer a letter His sign and blood are signed thanks, thanks from the FBI and to Tattle Drive just establish a line of communication To send an invitation Sign thanks from the FBI And to Tattle Crime How much longer are they going to be inspecting my cell? It's a routine inspection. Shouldn't be much longer. I read your interview on Tattle Crime. I agreed with a lot of what you said. You're right. People don't understand me or you, but we understand each other. Is that true? We're both lacking in something. We're simply evolving not to need. But Mr. Graham, it's plain and simple. All you need is me. You hid inside the FBI. That's a talent that's hard to find. If you hadn't gotten sick, they would have fallen for your trick. You could have gotten away with your crimes. You chose a great place to hide. When you spend time in a hospital, you'll pick up the drill. You'll learn the ins and outs, but you don't make a sound. When you're free, get a job and they'll never suspect that not too long ago you were treated by them. You realize Chilton records everything said in this room. Who do you think wired the mic, or unwired the mic, as it is right now? You killed the bailiff at my trial. I've read every word of your file. You're easy to copy, easier to amuse. Am I wrong to assume that I've pleased you? And the judge? I shot the bailiff, but I did not kill the judge. That was somebody else. Why are you trying to help me? Ever notice how a hawk gets swarmed by smaller birds on a wire mob mentality they storm? You and I are hawks, Mr. Graham. Hawks are solitary. That's their weakness. Those little birds, they chase the hawks away. Such fearsome predators, they become prey. But what if the hawks started working together? I need a favor. I'm always happy to do a favor for a friend. Just say the words. I want you to kill Hannibal Lecter. Excellent, what a splendid idea. This is my kind of night. He'll be dead next time I see ya. This is a promise and I keep them too. This little bird will no longer pose a threat to you. Catch 
his lecter in his nether routine Strings him up and sets the scene Slits his wrists and watches him still A slow and painful kill Judas had the decency to hang himself in shame But you need a little help, so we'll play my little game Whether you choose to hang or bleed out, one way is quicker without a doubt It's getting late, are you tired yet? If I were you, I would kick the bucket Are you the grand's admirer? We have a mutual respect. Will's not who you think he is. That man is not a killer. He is now by proxy. He asked you to do this. What are friends for? When the cat met the mouse, and the mouse met Matthew Brown, didn't think a little creature would betray him. Then the mouse met the cat, tied a noose around his neck. But this is only where the fun begins. Now I'm going to ask you a few yes or no questions while you still have enough blood coursing through your brain to answer them. Ready? Ready. Did you kill that judge? That incriminating silence! I can ask you yes or no questions. You don't have to say a word and I'll know what the answer is. The pupil dilates with specific mental efforts. You dilate, that's a yes. No dilation equals no. Are you the Chesapeake Ripper? A smile all he needs to know! Tell me how many times have you watched someone cling to a life that's not really worth it? Why do they bother for a few seconds? I know why life is precious. Look at you, the Chesapeake Ripper. I, I wonder, wonder what, what they'll, they'll call, call you. The Iroquois ate the strength of their enemies. Maybe I'm the Ripper now. Only if you eat me. I can see them. He's got a gun, Jack. Call an ambulance. We found more fishing lures, and you'll never guess what's in them. The Ripper's been tying flies, just like Will Graham. Beverly's hair, bone fragments of lass, optic nerves and arteries from Davies, and a toenail from James Gray, the muralist. They're, They're all, all the Ripper's, Ripper's victims. victims. Then there's these four. They're almost identical. Human remains, Suckley, Shore, Matchin, and Abigail. Will didn't kill these people. There was no copycat. It was always the Ripper, and now he's taking credit. But we found something else A curl and madrona bark You can't find it on the east coast Except for this area we've marked A clue to a mystery What will they find? A piece to a puzzle A cold case lost in time Jack, hello Jack, it's Miriam Les, I don't know where I am, I was so wrong, I can't even see, Jack please, come and find me. I swear I heard her voice echoing through my mind, not only lost 
lost to me, Miriam's been lost in time. I searched every dark corner, every inch of this place, but nothing prepared me for when I saw her face. Two years have passed, assumed that she was dead. They found a witness, a survivor, the only living victim of the Ripper. She's doing surprisingly well for the story she's lived to tell. This witness is watching me now about me or having doubts. It seems I am the usual suspect. I'm not fond of this disrespect. I keep having angry imaginary conversations with Jack Crawford about that. I wish I could tell you why this is happening. You're in here with me, not because you choose to be. Our witness cannot identify the Ripper by sight. Jack wants them to hear my voice. With you, talking is the choice. Jack is not first in subtlety, but I appreciate your company. I'm in here with you, and with me I brought news. Will's case has new evidence, proving that he is innocent. Will is not innocent of trying to kill me. The wounds left there are still healing. He saw to it that I was crucified, that I'd be a suspect of crime. He thinks you're the Chesapeake River. 
is no longer a lover being thinking that. They're in there talking, not a trace any clink. Tranquil and deep It isn't him. Are you sure? Yes, he is not the Ripper. This is very sudden. The federal prosecutor has dropped all charges. You weren't convicted of killing, so your sentence is null and void. Now that your life has been destroyed, the Chesapeake Ripper has set you free. You're my psychiatrist, you could have kept me here I'd love nothing more than you to trade with Lecter Now that surprised patient You're exonerated, but Hannibal has yet to be incriminated Then you should confess, Frederick Might be the only thing that saves you what do I have to confess? Bonding over therapies you do. Your mutual practice of unorthodox therapies. No bargaining with smoke, that means you will be next. Unless I am burdened, unless I do confess He works in the shadows, deny them to him Shine a light on your talks, tell Crawford everything Why didn't Hannibal just kill you? Because he wants to be my friend Need a ride? We found Miriam alive how is she coping? She's traumatized Don't feed yourself up too badly You do over Beverly Fev's dead, trauma victims recover Miriam thanked me when I found her For not giving up I did give up on her I gave up on you too Thought she was dead and you crazy Stop trying to find you both lately You didn't have to find me, Jack. Just listen. I put her in a room with Lecter. She said he wasn't the Ripper. Was that definitive enough for you? No. It wasn't. He left her there for you to find. He wants you to catch someone A well-placed bait stuck to a line Like you wanted you to catch me Somewhere in this evidence Something will lead you away Something will lead you astray And point south to Lecter's north Two years is a long time to have Hannibal in your head. You can't trust her, Jack. You can't trust any of this to be what it seems. Are you an FBI agent? No. I used to teach at the academy. Two days ago, I was an inmate at the Baltimore State Hospital for the Criminally Insane, courtesy of the Chesapeake Ripper. The Guru told me that the only person who demonstrated any practical understanding of the Ripper was you. He didn't mention you were a victim. The Guru? Jack Crawford, the Guru, tells you to do what you're supposed to. Voice full of peculiar cleverness that I wanted to impress. Heard it from the Guru, you don't remember much, do you? Another gift left from the Ripper, I couldn't remember much either. Couldn't? Missing pieces I picked up off the ground Fragments of myself finally found The Ripper used light to induce seizures Created blackouts so I lost time In front of the light he stood like a silhouette Waiting to me through the currents The destructive garden of the hurricane's eye Chamber music loud day and night And, and then came, came his voice, voice Tranquil or even Pulling me towards him Room, 
waiting in this space, waiting, calm, waiting in the voice you are saying. You're waking, Jack, it's all in the air, there's a hell. I'm so glad you can't see. Jack, please come and find me. What you are saying. He got in my head, my thoughts were not mine To confuse you, that's part of his design The sting of a needle and smell of fresh flowers He doesn't scare you, just takes your power The, the art of memory, memory ruined, ruined indefinitely Under, under his influence, heart the science of false sense of security Luring us into the deep You're safe now I'm free, not safe, you're free, not safe We're alive, not unscathed He isn't done and he might never be I feel as if any moment he might kill me not safe, not safe, until he's dead. I've got to get out, I'm going to die. I've got to get out, I've got to survive. But now I'm too late, the cannibal's here. It wasn't my fate to leave here alive. That will be the FBI. You're not getting out, I've blocked your escape. Don't think you can shout, they're muffled from Jack. I'm sorry you're done, you're left with one choice. And that is to run, goodbye Frederick. One doctor asleep as the plot unfolds A transfer of crimes to the chaser of gold One two bodies pile, or is spread out Already for trial as the wound man returns ah. I'm alive, it all makes sense He dodged jail at my expense Who believes me? Where should I go? Limited choice, but I think that I know Hilton's shelves are filled with old medical books. Wound man. Wound man, wound man, the nail in the coffin, the frame is forming, Frederick is falling. Chilton was consulting when the victim was Miriam. She must have connected them, Beverly repeated. He had access to the files, everything he needed before Will, before Hannibal. I have the same profile as him, medicine and psychology. We're both doctors in our fields, of course it would be me. I'm his Patsy, I have to leave the country. I'm leaving the country. If you run, you'll look guilty. You didn't and you looked plenty. Ended up in my company, I have corpses on my property. You just threw up an ear. There's an APB on your head. They've canceled your phone. I have cash and I've tossed my phone. Crawford thinks I've killed two agents. What happens after those events? Shoot on sight. I will prove he is the Ripper. I will read it in the paper and reintroduce myself then. Will, what did you do? I called Jack Crawford. No, 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 no! Hannibal's pet has betrayed me! The murder husband's conspiracy! Condemned to a cell that's not mine! As the agent loses his spine! To be you, a final indignity. I'd like you to hide an achievement. The achievement isn't mine. Whose is it, Hannibal? Weightless words spill from your lips. No thoughts about the truth they pull. They're not true. Coercive therapies on will make him point away from you. See it, and you won't see it until it's too late. Don't say I didn't warn you, Dr. Bloom. 
In fact, I believe those should be my last words on the subject of the river until my lawyer arrives. And then came his voice, drank the melody bird, pulling me towards earth. It's him! It's him! It's him! It's him, that's what she said. Fear in her eyes, she wants him dead. The gesture of warm kites danger. Watch out, children. Watch out. Hello, Will. May I come in? Do you intend to point a gun at me? Not tonight. Are you expecting someone? Only you. Kept my standing appointment open. And you're right on time. Whatever shall I do with these feelings about you? I think it's best I try to deal with them directly. But first you must grieve for what is lost And all the changes that has caused Yes, I've changed You changed me When will this dance come to an end? Just let go whenever you want Because we are no longer friends Do you fantasize about killing me? Yes, and How would you do it? With my hands Then I guess you're not the type who forgives and forgets I saw a truth about myself When I tried to send you back to hell That doing these bad things makes you feel good Yes Dancing with the devil, such a thrill Just, Just like, like the rush of a fresh kill A special bond, I feel it still Stained like the blood that you have spilled I need to know if you're going to try to kill me again, Will I don't want to kill you anymore, Dr. Lecter Not now that I finally find you interesting Martinis with my tears Extracts them with the use of my fears Tears and martinis through the years Have made my hate run fears You were no more at fault for what happened to you Than if you had been bitten by a mad dog Rabbit mad dogs get put down So how come Mason's still around? Should have waited for my arm to heal Then my dreams would have been real Salt his martinis with my tears Extracts him with the use of my fears Tears and martinis through the years Have made my goal become clear Doing bad things to bad people makes us feel a little better Did you feel the strength you gained from trying to kill your brother? Trying wasn't satisfying, his murder is all I need But somehow he's still here, not dying on his knees Salt his martinis with my tears Extracts him with the use of my fears Tears and martinis through the years Have made my hatred start to reel what is your bond with him like now? I think he thinks that I've calmed down. Have you? Oh, I'm calm, don't worry. Will you try again? Ricky. It doesn't have to be. If I tell you I killed someone, the ED makes all the difference. Cause if it's in the future, then you're not allowed 
to stay in silence But you have to save yourself If no one else can save you His death would be therapeutic Behind the blood red Tracks them with the use of your fears. Tears and martinis through the years have made my hate run fears. Your brother dehumanized, your family acclimatized. He's the prodigal son redeemed. You believe that? You believe me? It's not my role to believe you, Marco. It's my role to help you understand what you believe. I believe my brother won't. Does that make you feel angry? An energizing emotion, it prompts action against threat. It means you think you can prevent whatever it happens next. According to Aristotle, anybody can be angry to provide a good reason. That's the part that isn't easy. I know how to stop it. If you really want to kill your brother, Margo, wait until you can get away with it. Or find someone to Salt his martinis with my tears Extract them with the use of my fears Tears and martinis through the years Now his comeuppance is coming near Is divine. This looks like cult activity. Maybe it's a sacrifice. Sacrificial animals should be healthy. This horse was dying. The womb was more or less intact. Maybe all they needed was that. When the victim was in wound, she had already died. It appears she was strangled. She was scrappy and put up a fight. This horse is a chrysalis. To hold the woman till her death can be transformed into new life. This is a birth, or it was intended to be. It's about giving life and bringing her to the light. What's she thinking? I see what he's done. I don't understand why he's done it. This killer doesn't think like anyone else. In order to catch him, you need someone who doesn't think like anyone else. I cover your head with cloth hoods. I don't want you to see me or the things I do. There's comfort in the darkness. But not for one of you. I take your life, try to give it back. I find a tomb, place you inside. I hope that by some miracle, you'll come back out alive. No, not alive. Reborn like a dead fetus pushed out of a corpse Whoever did this knew the horse He waited for life to take its course He knew Sarah Kraber, he worked at the stables Not a vet, but he has medical knowledge of animals He considers himself a healer How was this healed? Sarah Kraber was reborn And a mother and her child are finally on the same side of life This wasn't murder, Jack, this was grief
Peter Bernadone, you don't seem curious who we are. Who are you? Jack Crawford, FBI, we have a few questions to start. You may have known Sarah Craver. She was just found dead at the stables. I heard. There was a bird in her chest. Did you hear about that? Is the bird alive? Yes. Who's taking care of it? How well did you know Sarah Craver? I didn't know her. Peter, do me a favor. Look at this photo. Do you know this woman? I know who she is, but we weren't friends. I don't know her. Just to be sure. When you worked at the stables, you had a head injury. I was kicked by a horse. Yes, we heard the story. You can look, but you can't touch. It's aggravated by stress, is it not? Are you feeling stressed? I'm worried about the bird. A woman is dead, Mr. Bernadone, and you're worried about a bird. I'm sad for her. I'm sad for the horse, but I can't help them. I can help the bird. He knows the victim. He knows the animals involved. We'll need a warrant if you think this crime is solved. I don't know if he did it. If he did, he wasn't meant to. If he isn't our killer, he definitely knows who. We track the soil from Sarah's mouth. Led us to this location just a mile south. Found her empty grave and 15 full. If Peter knew about Sarah, he knew about them all. Still think he's not a killer? Every human being is capable of committing acts of great cruelty. You were worried about the bird, thought you might like to see it. Isn't this evidence? We're not supposed to touch it. I'm not FBI. I used to sort of be. But now I'm really not. You could say this is therapy. I've got a social worker. Not for you, for me. Now I'm about to tell you something, so listen closely. That Agent Jack, he's coming back, and this time with a warrant, he'll arrest you, take your animals, and break your heart, and you'll never forgive him for it. I didn't kill anybody. That's not always relevant. They found Sarah Craver's grave. How did you find it? Do you have a shadow, Peter? Someone only you can see. You considered him a friend, made you feel less lonely. Not who he really was and realized you were all alone it took cold-hearted betrayal for you to figure it out on your own no one will believe me he'll make sure no one will believe me i'll make sure they do some aspects of the job are more enjoyable than others some cases you just can't reach your notes on Peter Bernadone are different from the others. You'd think two social workers would be able to agree. Social services is far from perfect. It's common to admit information, to clear a path for those stuck in the weeds, to help reach as the gates as it can be reached. Peter's injury makes him vulnerable to psychological disorders and more. Confusion, paranoia, rage, post-concussion syndrome would have refused the case had I known. A surprising lack of empathy for a social worker Accused me of killing 16 women And how does that make you feel? Right now, I feel inconvenienced You're not being detained, you're being interviewed The FBI is just being thorough What are you writing? An observation, sorry if that makes you uncomfortable Smart, she's pushing his feelings, not the facts To see how comfortable he is with emotion If he has any his responses are typical of a psychopath, but could also be resentment. His eyes are dead. He's a predator. Did you know Sarah Kraber? No, but Peter was obsessed. Do you think he's capable of murder? I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm 
curious, Mr. Ingram, why become a social worker? Society needs caring people. It also needs a few psychopaths to keep us on our toes. If I'm not being detained, I'd like to go. Let him go. You're making a mistake, Jack. I've got nothing to hold him on. Peter's at a disadvantage. Can't you see he's been manipulated? By his social worker, the only person he could trust. This man is guilty, I can feel it in my gut. I know what it's like to point at a killer and have no one listen. You pointed in the wrong direction. so much rage recently but I never expected this brutality you take out resentment on those you hold close you kill the animals that you love the most this was the horse that kicked you in the head look at her now because of you she's dead the way you think is compromised Peter, you're destroying your life Sarah was a reminder of what you'll never have What excuse do you have for that? Some will say this was a long time coming Sixteen women you killed because you weren't Worthy. You killed them. No, Peter, it's easy to see. If I had killed them, it was because they weren't worthy of me. Peter? Peter Bernadone? Peter, is your social worker in that horse? Yes. He couldn't see the life in every animal's eyes. He forfeited his humanity, I forfeited mine. I used to be afraid of hurting things. He helped me overcome that fear. Feel so abnormal. An abnormal reaction to an abnormal situation. Don't worry, that's normal behavior. He deserved to die. All the crimes he is paying for. You didn't deserve to kill him. I want you to come with me, Peter. Tricking them into raising their chicks But a robin knows when it's being used Did you know? I didn't want to If a robin removes an egg from the nest The cowbird destroys it, eggs and all The cowbird claims he's doing what's best the robin sees the mess and is told it's his fault. Out of spite. No, spite is uniquely human. We don't understand why the cowbirds do this. The cowbird punishes the robin for his own mistakes. It's cruelty for cruelty's sake. I hate him. I envy your hate. Makes it much easier when you know how to feel Makes what easier? Killing them, pure hatred is ideal I didn't kill him, I wanted him to wake up in death and choke on it
Mr. Ingram, might want to crawl back in there if you know what's good for you. Officer, I'm the victim here. I'm not an officer. I'm a friend of Peter's. Peter's confused. I'm not. Pick up the hammer. Will. Pick it up. And no one gets hurt. It won't feel the same, Will, not like killing me. It doesn't have to. I know how it'll feel. He's a murderer. He'll feel good like Hobbes. Maybe it'll feel even better than I thought. You've helped Peter all that you could. Think of your actions. Consider if you should. Don't do this for Peter or others who want to see it. You must do this for yourself if you're going to do it. Please, don't. You would be wise to remain silent, Mr. Ingram. This is not the reckoning you promised. This is not the becoming you deserve. It won't be worth it, I assure you that. You may not see it now, but soon you will learn. I pull the trigger, hear it click. Mr. Ingram's still alive. Lucky I'm here, Will. He isn't part of your design. With all my knowledge and intrusion, I could never entirely predict you. I can whisper through the chrysalis and hope for metamorphosis, but I can't control what hatches through. You follow your own nature, I do my best to nurture, but, but a, butterfly a butterfly must leave, leave the, the cocoon, cocoon to, to show, show its, its beautiful, beautiful colors. colors. Would be no life at all You were lucky I was there to keep you calm Allowing you to stop me was a mistake I didn't want anything but to pull the trigger You must adapt, Will To control your anger Close your eyes then Arrange a sequence of events You'll no longer regret painful but effective treatment. Adapt, evolve, become. What did you see? A it's missed opportunity. That I seized power just. like I did with Hobbes. You Except instead of him, cool. it was you. I'll remember, remember the feeling soon. Or are we friendly? I've seen you before and it wasn't in this place. Famous, not friendly. I was insane, allegedly. I'm the guy who didn't kill all those people. Good evening, Margo, take a seat. Tell me about your gauge for humanity. It doesn't extend to my brother. He isn't human, he's something other. You dehumanize him as he dehumanizes you. A perfect family portrait permanently riddled over with the regret. The as less human than ourselves is universal. Humanity doesn't adhere to Mason It left him and my dad's knife filled the gaps Assuming such, you are less human for it Did you just dehumanize me? 
psychiatrists who dehumanize patients so more comfortable with painful but effective treatments and experience better results. On his way out and on my way in, I crossed paths with the patient. What was it? The painful but effective treatment you gave him. Your silence is telling, your treatments are worrying. I appreciate the support, I really do, but I can only imagine what you'd be supportive of Will Graham doing. What do you imagine? You tiptoe your way past our defenses while we're vulnerable, into the vaults of our hearts and heads change what you're able, talking high and mighty as you leave dense in the name of painful but effective treatment. I have half a brain, ask what psychiatrist you are. No need to tell me now, I'm beginning to see how bizarre. What is your interest in Will? I could ask you the same. Funny how all your patients play the same game. Entertain your interests in people who kill. I'm willing to bet people have died on that hill. Will Graham has been found innocent of all charges, very publicly. My brother has been found innocent too. Even more publicly, you might argue. Not because he's innocent, because there's a catch. Painful, Painful but, but effective, effective treatment. treatment. Based on this evisceration, we're looking at a wolf or a bear. Wolves and bears don't eat where they kill, they drag their prey away from where the blood was spilled. Unless it were mad, it was rabid. Attacks at random doesn't eat any part of them. Nothing was eaten, just strewn across the lawn. It ripped him wide open, but the creature didn't gnaw. Similar to livestock mutilations nearby, evisceration, dismemberment, left to sit and die. Since when does the FBI get involved in animal attacks, Jack? When somebody's holding the leash of whatever's doing the attacking. Livestock mutilations were just practice. He's going to kill again and he'll get better at it. He's urbanizing his animals. Not denying its instincts. Adapting it it's to bigger prey. His blood closed. Hello, Randall. Dr. Lecter. You'll always be ruled by your fascination with teeth. My first time in your office, that's what you said to me. I didn't want to tell you what was wrong with me. But the words you chose, you made it so easy. Do you remember what I told you? You could see what I am. You've come very far, Randall. A long time since my treatment. 
which is why I wanted to talk to you about your wonderful progress. Just for a moment, quiet. I've seen what you've done. What have I done? Your screams as a sculptor bears dust from the beaten stone. The fireboy doesn't cling to you anymore. What clings to you now? What clings to your teeth? Single strands of hair and the scalp underneath. Beautiful. They're looking for you. I don't think you can stop. I don't want you to. They're going to find you, Rep. And when they do, it's important that you do exactly as I say. It's a man who wants to be Does he believe he is? It's what he imagines, not what he believes What does he want? It's nothing personal, he wants to maul They're just me to him, pray He doesn't need to know them at all Psychosis like this Someone would have noticed If it is psychosis He found a way to get inside of it He's an engineer or understands it No beast is more savage than man When possessed with the power to match his rage This isn't rage, it's instinct Like a beast that is coming of age The way any animal thinks depends on limitations of mind and body If we learn our limitations too soon, we never learn our power Or his victims apart, I'd say he learned his power He claimed his power Some will report, or would you rather kill them with a gun? Guns lack intimacy. You fantasize of killing me with your hands. Would that satisfy you more than pulling a trigger? Yes. When you sent that man to kill, did, did you, you live, live vicariously? Is it your hands tightened the noose? Or were or you simply hiding? I wasn't hiding from anything the first time I tried to kill you. You were hiding behind a gun. You must allow yourself to be intimate with your instincts. Will.
closest fight radius we could match to the victim's wounds was a cave bear. Even the mighty dire wolf couldn't begin to compare. But a cave bear couldn't do this, their lung extinct and vegetarian. For its pneumatics. Sophisticated for a man or a beast. Animals are more like us than we care to admit. There's a barrier between us, and, and for some, some it's too thin. thin. Hello, Dr. Lecter. How does something like this present? Someone affected by this kind of species dysphoria typically has other conditions, mood disorders, clinical depression, schizophrenia. Typically. This killer may have built a bridge between who he appears to be and what he's become. He didn't build a bridge, he built a suit. What he seeks is transformation. You ever see anything like this? This threatens to be a violation of doctor-patient confidentiality, so I will tread carefully. You have seen something like this. Years ago, I treated a patient who fits this profile. A teenage boy who suffered from an identity disorder Believed he was an animal, displayed predatory behavior He was delusional. Not necessarily. He didn't believe metamorphosis could physically take place, but that wouldn't stop him from trying to achieve it. He'd be a grown man now? As he grew in wisdom and in confidence, no longer has to meet his needs in hiding or in science. What are his needs, Dr. Lecter? Savagery. Here. You wanted to speak to me? I'm Special Agent Jack Crawford with the FBI. This is Will Graham. Did you put this all together? Yes. Nice work. What's this one here? A cave bear. Ever put one of them together? Put together, take apart, put them together again. Then you understand their mechanics. There's a lot that we understand. I'm asking because a cave bear skull was used as a murder weapon. At least it's jaws, the claws too. Designed to do what they do best. Use the right tools for the job. It's what's inside that tells you what the job is. You had trouble inside your skull, Mr. Tear. That's what this is about. You think I did it. I had an identity disorder. The skin I was wearing didn't fit. Do you know what it's like? I can't imagine. I know who I am now. I'm coping with it. I'm much better. I have a job. I'm socializing. I'm taking my medication. I'm employed. I am proof that mental illness is treatable.
The solitude of what you do is to be respected, and I intend to honor that. I've only come to offer you words of encouragement. You are becoming Randall, and this beast is your higher self. Your bodies, voices, and wills are one. Revel in what you are. In the shadows there's a beast greater than man, pneumatic jaws and razor claws for hands, hiding in the sheath of the night, gearing up for the fight of his life. Little Graham sits with his back unaware, but he notices the terrified stares. They see something he cannot. It's a race against God and the clock. Only time will tell when the beast will attack. He'll come lunging at you from out of the black. Aiming to disembowel The judgment will feel the bitter sting of betrayal The jaws that bite, the claws that catch Defend yourself by the light of a match So easily does the jaw collapse So easily does the neck snap I feel his life fall through my hands The energy leaves me as death demands But my night hasn't come to an end There's one more thing I haven't done yet A beast doesn't know it's a beast, but the nearer a man gets to being a beast, the less he knows it. We took the traps from the drains, found pieces of scalp, hair still attached, blood, tissue, bone. Whatever he used to kill, he cleaned it here. We have everything we need to convict Randall Tear, except Randall Tear. He's vanished. That's trouble. You knew it. You knew what he was. He was your patient, Dr. Lecter. Every therapist deals in darkness, Jack. I only learn how accurate my treatments are after the fact. When I hear secondhand that a patient is back on track, or that they're not, or that they've taken their own life or someone else's. Where's Will? I haven't been able to reach him. I send someone to kill you. You send someone to kill me. A violent act of reciprocity. Did you kill him with your hands? Very intimately. Well deserved, you were his final enemy. You want to retreat like jumping from a balcony. Keep your eyes off the tracks and the train approaching. Stay with me. Quite pleased as you should be. When you were killing Randall, did you fantasize? So easily did your jaw collapse. collapse. So, so easily did your neck snap. I've never felt more alive than when I was taking his life. You owe Randall Tear a debt today. How do you intend to pay? His killer chose to display the body A jarring reminder of deaths and formality Denied him a dignified end Aware of the message they sent It's humiliation, dissection, disgrace Not to mock but to commemorate No fear of consequences No guilt on his conscience Can you see you? Clearer and clearer, your death is a day I will hold dear you forced me to kill you, die if I resist. I didn't force you to enjoy it. You made me a monument. You're welcome. Not to me. I gave you what you want, what you feel is what I see. This is my becoming, and yours. No, this is my design. 
He knew his killer, there's familiarity. It was someone like him, same instinct, different pathology. His killer empathized. If anything, it's envy. Randall Tear had a much easier becoming. He's never killed before, not like this. Not this extreme. This is the nightmare that followed him out of his dreams. Be careful, Will, you are playing a dangerous game. Like a killer who attends funerals with no shame. Jack Crawford is no grieving widow. He'll never see us lurking in the shadows. Not so long ago, we were both suspects. That's why this time we won't be again. No one will suspect the mouse and the cat. Framing Chilton was the broom that swept up our tracks. Why didn't you dispose of him quick and clean? Randall Tear deserved to be seen. You called it artistry. I also called it savagery. The bird leaves the nest and spreads his wings. A newly fledged bird is vulnerable. He can fly, but he can't hunt. He must be mindful. Watch one, do one, teach one. I've seen plenty. How did it feel to transform the living? To create a message out of the flesh? To sculpt and craft while the blood is still fresh? Like I wasn't finished until I had an artistic medium I finally understand. Did you take a trophy too, Will? A memento of my first rodeo? What do you think? I think it would be the act of a serial killer. By definition, one body doesn't make me a serial killer. You can buy time all you want, Marco, but at the end of the day, you have to kill him. This calls for a measure that desperate you have known for years. Salt his martinis with my tears. Don't be ruled by your fears. I missed my opportunity, and just to give me a warning, Mason Hart is new. Fine hat and cruel hands A leading practitioner At making people disappear Making people disappear is an art Once you're dedicated it is in part If that was the nature of his threat Retaliation he'll make you regret I'm to behave myself Or be fed to the what he says and take the chocolate It's painful but effective treatment Do you know why you failed to murder your brother, Marco? Poor planning Like another patient of mine Unable to act on his whims You're unable to leave him behind Because you still love him In love, you abandon your senses, body and soul, not paying attention for sake of the heart, all wanting and swayed, ignoring that debts must be paid. But when, when you're, you're fueled, fueled with, with hate, hate, a lifetime of resent and madness, your revenge you can calculate. You must be present. Then allow yourself to hate him. Do you think you will ever get what you want? Mason, Mason doesn't, doesn't give, he only takes. You can beg and he won't spare you a second thought. No, no matter, matter what, what, he'll always have, have his way. way. I thank God I didn't kill him. What was written in the will was very clear. The love and Mason gone, there remains nowhere. The sole beneficiary is a church, not me. I'm left in the dirt. Even in death, Mason would take everything from you. Take matters into your own hands, build up from the ground. You don't understand, to this will we are bound. All powerful forces that shape us all, a searing need rattling your skull. 
The desire to leave a legacy It's about what Mason wants My glass is drained empty in his portfolio I don't get a legacy None of us get anything If we don't dare to try We learn to take risks So we can survive You don't get a legacy, Margo Unless you make one a plan more useful than lying in wait A legacy in my hands making my own fate The tears and martinis through the years His comeuppance is coming near Reasoning makes us human But questioning the nature of our humanity makes us miserable I'll drink to that What happened to your window? A stag got lost in the storm Came in through the window and I got a few scratches getting him out Stitches and stitches and broken hearts Pain inflicted, are you scarred? More than I probably know Scratches and stitches and broken hearts The wrong proclivity for parts He dealt me pain, but I'll do him one better A legacy, I need a legacy, I'll claim Whatever it takes to secure the virgin name I won't let Mason control me I'm going to have this baby I'll show you mine if you show me yours I have the wrong parts for your proclivities, Marco it's not about proclivities, it's about trust. Good to trust, better not to. And yet tonight I trust you. I don't trust you. You aren't the only one who's scarred. The both of us have been barred. After a while the pain starts to fade, but the marks don't ever go who did this to you? My brother. A gallery of scars collected Is anything but temperate Each of them has a story Trust broken, wounds open I gaze at them all and remember The blood, the rush, and the splendor Seeds are sown and left to grow Change is approaching that I know Who shot you? Friend. I had sex with one of your patients, Will Graham. How does that make you feel? Curious. Will Graham is not a lesbian. He sure made a go at it. Was Will aware of your intention to become pregnant? Wasn't it your intention, Dr. Lecter? Your life's been threatened, threatened death can't can have you, not with a legacy. The more I think about death, the more I'm inclined to focus on what matters. What matters to you, Margo, after you fought your brother for so long? One simple step, one night in this dark, I have a light, my child and my heir, I'll get away far from there. Men are often vain They aspire to become immortal So they grasp on for power Women in pain They let their anger fester it A weapon of use to conquer So be it, this the legacy all the is yours You have what you need Scratches, stitches, broken hearts You've got, got myself a hand of cards To deal or to bluff, keep your guard up There will be a day Mason will pay His empire will come crumbling down In the debris I'll wear the crown Take everything back And I'll attack I know you would I like that about you. You're much more interesting, more capable than your brother. 
Professionally, this is the sort of catharsis I have to recommend. A stream so crystal clear, the will says right here. Beloved Mason gone, there remains my heir, he doesn't have long. Freddie Lowndes, what are you doing here? Always admired teachers, molding impressionable young minds. But there's only so much you can learn and stay alive. No one likes a know-it-all. Impressionable young mind you were when Hannibal Lecter taught you. You're writing about Will Graham, not me too. There's just it, everything's free reign. You're a part of this deadly game. As much as anybody. Lecter's grandpa's ruined me. The list can't keep on going. Anything to, to be this ignorant, you must be tangled up oh, with on. one of them. It can't be Graham, so it's Lecter then. First you're oh, under his pen, then under in the bed. You know no bounds, she no no boundaries. Breaking down walls for the sake of the story. You can't see it, you're, you're so blind. blind. Do me a favor and open, open up your eyes. eyes. I'm not talking to you, Freddy. Find someone else to tattle on. Hannibal Lecter's had how many patients die under his care? Four total, three formal, let's start there. And now Will Graham? They get back to having sessions together and another former patient dead. Suspicious to me, and it should be to you. Unless you want to keep pretending nothing's wrong. You know no bounds, you know no, no boundaries. boundaries. Coming to me with no rumors boundaries. to spread. Will knows Hannibal can help him. Will knows. According to Freddy Lounge, everything's free reign when you're in their game. They know no boundaries, not with each other, not ever. They love and kill what they love. A paradox. Freddy Lounge thinks you two are another paradox, a puzzle unsolved. She sees something that I can't. What's that? She knows no boundaries, breaking down walls to make history. Neither of you is the killer, but together you may be. Ruin the valley, she can take her to teach A person with no boundaries is a psychopath, or a journalist. She isn't the only one at hand, neither of you have boundaries. You're patient, and therapist, and then friend, and enemy. Crossing boundaries isn't violating them, there's a difference. It's just hard to know where you are with each other. We know where we are with each other. Shouldn't that be enough? Better the devil you know. Boundaries come to, to negotiation, forced from iron, their lights of fire, with no intent of going out. It'll race through, make a story, make a story. We know no boundaries, we know no boundaries, we're breaking down boundaries. She breaks into my shed, she believes it's in my head Reaching the back of the line This is her design
There is an explanation for what you see. I don't want to hear you're blocking the door. I have no questions, nothing left to explore. Curious no more, unlike you. Well, Graham, just let me through. I can't let you go without hearing what I know. I see that you're scared, you're shaking unprepared. And over the gun, don't run, no need for a scream. You've stumbled upon what you think is a scene. Unsavory plans for incriminating me. You snuck onto my land, broke into my shed. At least you could listen, Fred. There's nothing you can say to get you out of this that's clearly human in that fridge. I'm gonna dart and weave until I can leave. Well, Graham, just let me through. Jack? Freddie Lowndes left this message for me three hours ago. Her cell signal's dead now. I traced it to the nearest tower, six miles from your farm. Freddy was supposed to interview me. She never showed up. I know it seems extremely suspect. Why are you granting interviews to Freddy Lowndes? I owed her an interview. I invited her down. She never showed up to walk the grounds. Living in the country, not much around. A great place to target a mark to knock her down. If somebody wanted to get her, taking her from there would be as easy as picking an apple from a tree. Surely, Freddy Lowndes has more enemies than Will. Freddy was investigating a story about Will and Hannibal committing murders together. There's no reason to believe her, but someone believed Freddy was a threat. What is the meat? What do you think? Red meat, pork, or mutton? Pig that pushed all the wrong buttons. Cooked to perfection, no waste. Notes of citrus in the taste. My palate isn't as refined in this case. It tastes frightened, like it was caught in a trap. Bitter about its permanent nap. Just as I am bitter that you would think I'd snap. I'm no collection of influences, no product needing watched. You can't produce me like soup. I've given up good and evil for behaviorism. It's not so botched. Then you can't say I'm evil. You're destructive, same thing. Hypocritical will as the birds sing. So then any natural disaster is by your definition evil. Are acts of God inherently evil? Underwriters lump it all under acts of God. Is this meal an act of God, Will? Tell me, Will, did your heart race when you took her life? No, it didn't. Low heart rate shows different genetic code, a high tolerance to violence. Evolving fast, your choice is changing deep inside, link by link. Killings changed the way I think. Blood and breath are the only elements with enough depth to answer change, molding your choices to your brain. Physically changing with time. This is my design. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup slowly rolling over. Goodness and mercy shall follow me as she dwells in the house of the Lord. 
to mourn Freddie Lowndes. Can't imagine that's why you're here. There's all sorts of reasons why I'd be here. A very common murderer's phenomenon. Revisiting victims after death to bask in their success. Anyone suspicious? Besides me? That was implied. You were expecting me. That she couldn't be safe Might as well let her rest in the ground The act of taking a life No one wants to talk about it it. Personal with motive Didn't think I'd notice The The act of taking a life And turning one of a kind kind. You've changed will You let me live my You're crossing a line Are you profiling me, Dr. Boom? A psychological profile is nothing more than statistical probability. You being here makes it that much more probable you're Freddy's killer. I'm here because my psychiatrist suggested it would be therapeutic. Paris to step into a new role in the presence of a young soul. Thou a father, thou a killer, your pain and dangerous behavior, what is trapped inside you can fly free. Been so preoccupied by the taking of a life, my head can't begin to comprehend that I am making one. When men become fathers, they undergo biochemical changes that affect the way they think. You said the same thing happens when men become killers. What sort of father would you be? A good father. Do you see a life falling before your eyes? How quickly we form attachments to what does not yet exist. I'm not attached. I'm only anticipating. My sister in my heart, not my child, but my charge. Abigail reminds me of her. The two of them begin to blur. Then why did you kill her? What happened is what had to. There was another way. I she wish she was beyond saved. the grave. After, After all this, I have you. The act of making, making alive. alive. Everyone has to talk about, about it. I still see her in a trance. I'm sorry I took your chance. The act of making a lie in my dreams of who you went fishing. From you, a child is missing. On occasion, on purpose, I drop a teacup on the floor. Every Watch everything shatter and wait for it to come together. To me, mine in sickness and health, the sole beneficiary that burdens mine to carry. I want to tell you about camp. It was a wonderful childhood experience that I've come back to. My father would pay for the whole thing every summer, all 125 campers on Lake Michigan. Your father was known for his generosity. I assume that extends to you, his prodigy. I continue his charitable work. I'm a good son and even better man But these campers poor and desolate They do it, I say, they get the chocolate All it took was one sly move A swift turn in chest, a hand of cards A domino effect And in my favor I get what I want Sure, people could get hurt 
heart. You gotta be smart when you deal your hand of cards. Every man for his own. I always win the king on his throne. You inherit your father's throne, Mace. It would be foolish to be blinded by a boy's illusions. Margot is the only family you have. My sister loves me, Dr. Lecter. She has to, or she's destitute. She could find her own way. Vergers are noted expansionists. Not when I'm the sole verger heir. Unless biology provides another. All it took was one sly move, a swift turn in chess, a hand of cards, a domino effect. I'll watch from afar just to see what'll happen. It could go many ways, you gotta be smart when you deal your hand of cards. I mustn't bluff just yet, no he won't win, the winner is me, don't forget. Good morning to you, something's new, you have a blue. Chilly, stop with the taunts, let me guess It's time to talk about what Mason wants I've been thinking about our future For a worldwide breeding stock We're stagnant as a rock Breeding? I'm concerned about the next generations of vergers Aren't you? For your information, I'm just trying to survive This generation Listen close, Margo, you and me, and a verger baby. We'll have an heir, a family we can share. You have a bloom positively radiant, but you have a secret. Margo, I can't let that slide. I'm playing my cards, my hand of cards. Took was one sly move, a swift turn in chest, a hand of hearts, a dumb to collect. I gotta get out of here. Oh, Margo, there you are. You weren't smart when you dealt your hand of cards. Stay on her back, I always win. Let him win, I'd rather be dragged. My darling sister, oh how you try the You have such a boon to you when you lie You had a temptation, a hand of cards A gun in your hand and I had to disarm The record will say this was necessary The only one you'll spend Mother's Day with is me must be the baby daddy. I'm gonna feed you to my pigs. Listen, Mason, you and me and Margot too have one thing in common, the same psychiatrist. You have to move, play your hand of cards if Hannibal had his way. You'd have a bullet through your skull. He gave you a push, now you give him a ball. Why would Dr. Lecter want to kill me? It isn't about you. It's about me. Killing you would be an easy hoop to jump through. You aren't particularly likable. I like me. You just stole your sister's womanhood. She weaponized it. She shouldn't have been waving it around like a gun. So it was self-defense. Damn right. And butchery. You walk into my slaughterhouse and lecture me on butchery. Blame doesn't stick to the vergers If I kill Lecter, it'll stick to me It's hardly a coincidence When a destiny like yours Couples with a man as resourced as I am All it took was one sly move A swift turn in chess A hand of cards, a domino effect I'll issue a warning and then I'll go We all know You've got to be smart when you deal your hand of cards. So what you do about the snare around your neck is entirely up to you.
here lies the body of Freddy Lowndes Back after just one night in the ground Never thought she would make it to heaven The killer is vying for attention Burned and assembled Her limbs all mangled, he made an effigy Not his first effigy Dismembered and displayed Randall's here turned out that way What connection do Freddy Lounge and Randall Tear have? Will Graham, Randall Tear was his suspect and Hannibal's patient. Freddy was investigating his murder when she died. Freddy was investigating a lot of things when she died. A psychopath's daily fantasies of killing resulting in crime scenes. He wanted to build someone up, if not himself, someone corrupt. He attracted a benefactor to admire. His way of destruction, it inspires. Destruction leads to a new life. This is an offering at a shrine. A signpost? Freddy's killer didn't do this, but his benefactor did. It's a private courtship, defying to men. Consequence which accompanies every creative act, they come hand in hand to contract. Now that you say that I'm compelled to ask, Abigail, was she the destructive consequence or the creative act? The destroyer, the creator, in their mysterious ways lay who you are to waste, give rise to rebirth today. Rise and rise again The roar of the lion and the wrath of the lamb Yes But how much had to be slaughtered Lie slandered then a daughter Much as was necessary To keep the order Debts must be paid Like the sacrifices God himself made What God do you pray to? I don't pray I only recognize that on scale My actions next to God's are pale I prayed I would see Abigail again. Perhaps your prayer wasn't unheard. This teacup in our hands that we've nursed may come together if time does reverse. A place made for Abigail in your world. What place would that be? You have lost a child, but you're likely to gain one. God's measures won't on matchless malice sound. An excess of irony. There is more to the story Of every terrifying moment My heart stops, I become lucid Don't bother with atonement I'm not sure what you're talking about, Dr. Bloom. You're not fooling me, Jack. I'm not trying to fool you. You're lying, you're all lying. We're lying to Hannibal, Hannibal lying to Will, to each other and to you. What do you believe is happening? What do you believe? Do you believe Will killed Freddy Lowndes? No, I don't. Do you believe Dr. Chilton's the Chesapeake Ripper? There was overwhelming evidence. Stop lying, Jack. I can't take the deceit Just to be honest with me Hear this my warning You think you've moved your pieces so clearly I'll tell you I disagree What's changed, Alana? I lost all my confidence In the man I thought I knew Hannibal Lecter wasn't true trust I used to have for Will Graham. He's become a different man that we don't understand. This dead 
Tell me what's your theory of my mind I understand yours and you understand mine We are one in the same, just alike This allows you to deceive me and be deceived by me My intention here is never to deceive I'm simply bringing your attention to the snare around your neck What you do with it, I couldn't care less Everyone has thought about it, but no one wants to talk about it. Murder's part of being alive. Why did you tell Mason Verger I want to kill him? I was curious what would happen. So it's true, by me or you. Either way, you'd like him dead. I'm just nudging you in the right direction. Mason is discourteous, unspeakably grotesque whenever feasible I try to eat the rude. But would you join me at the table? As a matter of fact, you have more reason to kill him than I do. You gave me that reason. You should kill him next session. You said you were curious what would happen. If by your hands or by the hands of God you planned on taking someone's life, tell me what is your design? I want you to close your eyes, Will. Imagine what you would like to happen. I slit your throat, let the blood spray my face, taste the metal in your veins. Bound in chains, the blood it stains, the straight jacket you wear. I lower you into the pig maze, the iron in your blood, they like the smell, the taste. These fairy creatures tear you limb from limb, you're gonna die and I don't care. I've killed you so many different ways, and I think this one's my favorite. Even though it's not as intimate While it lasts, I'm going to savor it What did you see? style the rest of us can learn from in moderation of course are you saying dr lecter's got too much of a good thing you can't glamorize you can't dehumanize i've got a good look through his eyes stray away from his perspective and also take a small embrace all i want to do is catch him he's shown nothing that we can take jack he's confessed to nothing and only vaguely acknowledged anything. and i need more than notions you kill someone will who is trying to kill me 
it was self-defense I don't know if I can prove that I'm out on a limb I've only told the OIG enough to fit the forms of what matter the situation grim I'm trying to save your skin well I need accuracy the branches wearing thin you've been hiding information too much from me the spectacle of Miss Lowndes' death was a catastrophe. You mutilated her body. Will the limbs about to break? Mason Verger. Hannibal is trying to manipulate me into murdering one of his patients, Mason Verger. I can manipulate Hannibal into killing him instead. What has Verger done? What hasn't he done? The man is a pig. You are what you eat, I suppose. And Hannibal considers him rude. That is motive enough. It's as though committing murders has purged him of lesser rudeness. You're talking about putting a man's life in danger. A good decision is less about finding the best alternative than about finding the one that works. Plus, that guy is a piece of work, not worth the empathy. Don't let empathy confuse what you want with what Dr. Lecter seemingly wants. I told you I'm a fisherman, I know what he wants. I try to keep it separate from what I want. Jack, we have to use the right bait when Hannibal tries to kill Mason Verger. I'll arrest him and then he'll be tied. You will have two witnesses. We may have three. I'm a good fisherman as well, Will. Two to fishermen, fishermen and company. company. We, we got, got a bait and sinker it's meant to be. Hidden for good reason, that was the idea And the best I can is to not have to deal with him Thank you for visiting me and for what you said I didn't say enough Now's your chance to madam You've been granted immunity from prosecution by the U.S. Attorney for District 36 and by local authorities in a memorandum attached, sworn and attested. Now let's talk, Hannibal Lecter. What are your thoughts? What can you share? Some psychiatrists can be so curious for inside they may try to manufacture it. How deadly that is to a patient who believes that. You were Dr. That. Lecter's psychiatrist. He wasn't yours. I told myself that when I was under his influence. What happened with you makes that crystal clear. Hannibal's influence is to be feared. Believe me, I was attacked by his patient, Dr. Lecter's former patient that was previously in his care. Could argue there, Lecter feigns his care for most of his patients, but us. The patient that died during the attack, how did he die? Reports said he swallowed his tongue. Wasn't attached at the time. I, I was attacked, attacked by his patient, patient but, but was I attacked by a patient? Dr. Lecter's former patient, former patient that, that was previously in his care. The, the one, one could argue, argue there. Lecter feigns his, his care. care. For most, most of his patients, but us. I killed him. I believed I was defending myself, and to a point I was. But beyond that point, it was murder. Hannibal influenced me to kill my patient. Our patient. You weren't coerced? Coercion is not what he does. He persuades subtly. Hannibal, master of persuasion, as he persuaded you to kill anyone. I was attacked by his patient, but was I attacked by a patient? Yes, Dr. Lecter's former patient that was previously in his care. The one could argue there, Lecter feigns his care for most of his patients but me. I killed him in self-defense. You're distorting the truth to keep who you think you are consistent. My truth isn't distorted, Dr. Du Maurier. I know what's true. He's a master of persuasion. Hannibal will win. As he tried to persuade you to kill another, not in self-defense. He will try to persuade you to do it again. The next time it will be someone you love. He will rip your heart apart and make you think it's the only option. It kills your heart and soul when you realize you've lost who you are. I was attacked by his patient, 
but was attacked by a patient. Dr. Lecter's former patient that was previously in his care. The one who could argue there. Lecter feigns his care for most of his patients, but us. How do we catch him? Hannibal can get lost in self-congratulation at his own exquisite taste and cunning. Whimsy. Believe me, this one will get him caught. You managed to avoid prosecution, Miss Maurier. I've got immunity from the U.S. Attorney. Whatever I say, whatever I've said, I'll end up the same way, most likely dead. Flat on my back, just like the others. Thinking, is this all as I fade away with no lasting memory? You asked for immunity, I asked for the truth, both got what we wanted. The truth didn't help me, and it won't help you, hasn't yet, and probably won't. Disappointment is where all this will lead, the truth won't set you free. I gave you every opportunity to tell me you ran, you hid from me. Here's another time for you to say what you need to say. If you think you're close to catching him, I can tell you you're had you fooled all along. He's always in control of the situation. This truth is what you perceive. Mr. Crawford, you think the FBI can save. You can't protect your own, and you can't protect me. The truth can't capture his reality. Nothing makes us more vulnerable than this Agent Crawford. Will's not alone. No, he isn't. Hannibal believes Will is a killer. You still believe he's your killer? I have to believe. Hannibal's only crime I was witness to was influence. Influence works best when we're unaware. But Will Graham has been very aware. Meaning? Meaning Mr. Graham may not know himself as well as Hannibal does. Bonjour, mon de toile. Bonjour, no. Mr. Verger asks for your company. There is no choice, come with us, please. Me fieri de no. Matteo. Carlo. You really shouldn't have done that. If you have to be kidnapped for ransom, any wealthy Italian will say, It's best to be in the hands of the stars. You're a pro revenger from your display. With you, it is personal now. <laughs> I take it Matteo died. When he died, did he foul himself? He must smell worse than you by now. Kill him and there is no money. I wonder what would happen if I locked you in a cage and left you to fight two murder husbands one on one, left alone until one is gone. Those little beggies go all the way home. The swine may be shy about starting on the tour. And courage with some sauce We'll have to cut a vein Preferably your throat But in the end it's all the same Padrone, he killed Matteo You can take his family the Dottore's cojones for comfort I've muzzled the dog, I've done my part You need to put him down Start his depart. Anything to say, Dr. Lecter? 
Don't let him bleed out. Don't let him escape. Just a little nick to give them a taste. What are you waiting for? Il Mastro is free with the slash of a strap. The straight jacket falls, the party's a wrap. Why did he do it? Why did he save him? I guess I was curious to see what would happen. My fate wasn't Carlos, mine is still unknown. A small sting in his arm, he's far from his farm. No shelter from the alarm, and no space to disarm. Whoa! <laughs> I must ask you. To be quiet, you'll frighten the animals. What did you give me? Just a cocktail of chemicals. A variety of psychedelic compounds. I need a prescription for this. <laughs> Insights change under influence. Patients rhapsodize about their life. I'm enchanted and terrified. The world is a cacophony of sights, smells, and recollections. Tell me about your education in the slaughterhouses. Papa taught me all he knew, but not everything I know. Why don't you give me a few? Check the depth of the pig's fat. Show me on you. Hey, Winston. Where's everyone else? I just love your dogs. I adopted two dogs once, two dogs that were best friends. I left them in a cage with no food that led to one of their ends. One of them died hungry, the other one had a warm meal. I should have put you in a cage. Curious what would have happened. What are you feeding my dogs? Just me. What Mason is experiencing isn't restricted by reality. He broadened their palates as I broadened yours. Fed his face to my dogs. Murder or mercy. There is none. We manufacture it in parts of our brain that outgrew the basics. Then there is no murder. We make that too. You possess the features to commit a few. I'm hungry. Eat your nose. <laughs> I have a taste that is similar to that of chicken gizzard. Taste is in parts of the mind that proceed pity. 
pity has no place at the table. I'm not going to kill him. After he fed them me, you were to be fed to them. Wasn't he, Mason? He was. But he's your patient, Dr. Lecter. Do what you think, for worse or for better. Crawford. Good afternoon, Mr. Berger. I know you need your rest, but I need to ask some questions about what happened to your neck. I'm very curious about how I garnered interest from the FBI. How did I catch your eye? I took a tumble in the pig pen, a simple accident. If my sister hadn't found me, I'd have been made into pig feed. Pigs did this to you? The pigs certainly did. I hope to get my face back. They pumped their stomachs, but they haven't had much luck yet. You're a patient of Dr. Lecter. Have you ever seen another? A man named Will Graham. Will Graham, Will Graham. The man who didn't kill all those people? He didn't kill all those people. Yes. Can't say I've had the pleasure. Lies. I've benefited from Lecter. Lies. He's hovering for the Ripper so that he can deliver revenge. I will always be grateful. He has been so helpful. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your lies. Is he gone? It's just you and me. I'll take care of you, Mason, like you've taken care of me. The roles are reversed and no action is for free. After tears in martinis, the dynamics have lit. Margot's in charge now, and Mason has slipped. He no longer has control. He's at his sister's mercy, but she's psychotic, neurotic, and he And if he played Patroclus too, it was his demise as it may be for you. Even in death he understood man, for only someone like you can. Becoming Achilles on the field of war, he fought like he had never fought before. But I not with my hands or knives, I fight my battles with my mind. More intimate still than a passionate strangle is mental disturbance by light of a candle. Psychological warfare has us entangled. Perhaps we should attack from a new angle. What if the cat I line up? Cast aside their grudges and their doubts So many strikes we did allow What battle tests our friendship now? Achilles wished all Greeks would die So they could conquer Troy alone They plunged themselves so deep into the unknown 
So powerful that cat and mouse It took the might of the gods to tear them down But now and forever the story will be told This life we live can't be sustained One thing or another will break the chain It's a fate that neither of us can escape We will succumb to death or hate So to give him closure, we'll give him the ripper Throw the truth into the pan, let it simmer And toss ourselves into the fire Let him see you with clear eyes Let him see Skies. We'll commit our worst love crime and we'll be gone before the blood dries. We're the wretched things the music is singing of hell has no fury like. In the moment we will revel, scared by neither hell nor devil. Even if death may do us part, the chain stays linked in our hearts. Until we fall as bodies fall for death. Hannibal's invited me to dinner We'll have snipers, I'll be wearing a wire SWAT team on the ground to access The dining room, front door and kitchen Can I convince you to wear a vest? Hannibal would smell it Besides he wouldn't shoot us He would slice open our necks Didn't Jack Crawford know that he was sitting on death row The moment he stepped foot into my office He thought that I would help him But I will surely be the death of him This is the final nail in his coffin Jack won't be easy to kill He's armed, well-trained, and has a strong will Only if you hesitate, no indecision Do whatever it takes These are your notes on me. Won't your patients need these after you're gone? The FBI would pore over my notes if I left them intact. I would spare my patients such scrutiny. That's very considerate. I'm dismantling this life brick by brick. Leave nothing behind. Take no risks. When we've gone from this life, I'll hold it dear. In my memory palace, my mind is a theater. I'm building this memory palace from the blueprints in my heart. From all the moments spent with you, if we ever part. 
The fire's a chapel, beautiful, timeless, with the choice of a choir or peaceful silence. There's a special room for just you and I. It's a marriage of our designs. All I need is a tranquil street, a sunny day, and a gentle breeze. When life becomes too much for me, I have a place to sit and breathe. I can make it all go away. Lay my head back to dream. Close my eyes and wait into the quiet of the street. If only you and I could escape this fray Live forever, never a trace of age Any moment may be our last Because we're doomed, this beauty won't last The wolf and the lamb became one in mind Friendship has touched me with its light A million years have come and passed I fear this supper may be our last Yes, in this life, but there's always the next. Our old selves will be laid to rest. But we will soon be born anew. Rebuilding what we are and who. We could disappear tonight. Feed your dogs, leave a note. It would almost be polite. Jack deserves to know the truth. Do you think he would forgive you? No, he wants to see who you really are He wants to see who and what I've become To the truth and its consequences The end of all things has begun That entrapment, I know what I'm doing. What you're doing is violating Dr. Lecter's property and personal rights. The only one involved in this investigation who has killed someone is Will Graham. It was self-defense. You're using yourself as bait. Bait to induce Hannibal Lecter to commit murder. This is an outrageous government conduct. You're not thinking clearly, Jack. We are as close as we will ever be. You're distracted. I understand. I'm putting you on forced compassionate leave. Agents will be waiting in your office to relieve you of your badge and gun. What are you going to do about Hannibal? What Jack should have done. Obtaining a search warrant. He already freezing opened his passport. His doors. You won't find any evidence. The only way to catch him is you in the act. You think we should have sent him Jack? Him and Will are your best bet. That man Will Graham killed. Mutilated beyond compare. Limbs gone. Head and Hannibal are tethered. Self-defense was put to death. He this was is madness and pure identity. idolatry. Undercover, he took risks. Reality doesn't Let go away. If I you stop believing it, believe it, it's I stubborn like that. Facts. Criminal Please conduct. Hello? Are you with Jack? Is Jack with you? Perfectly safe, terribly dangerous. There's no middle ground I was trying to. What did you do? They've issued a warrant for your arrest, Will, as an accessory to entrapment and the murder of Randall Tear. They're going to arrest Jack, too. Goodbye, Alana. Will! Reality!
Hello, Jack. You're early. Would you care to sue, Chef? I want to thank you for your friendship, Hannibal. How beautiful to understand and be understood by a friend. But I fear this friendship's come to an end, for tonight you join the dead. Drop your gun as the knife pierces your hand. You aim, you miss, you meet your bitter end. I won't go down so easily to get away. You must get through me. You swing, I dodge, I twist and turn. I refuse to die on your terms. Oh, Jack, didn't they teach you that when you play with fire, you get burned? Into the battle they go, slashing and crashing, wrath overflows. This first fight will be their last, ending it all with a shard of glass. terrible and wonderful thing to see you. I imagine goodbye wouldn't be like this. I know you're probably confused. I was so blind I didn't see that all you did was deceive me. You can stay blind and walk away, but I will kill you if you stay. Run up the stairs, close the bedroom door Alana is shaken to her core As she enters the room, a sight to behold Abigail Hobbs is dead and cold Abigail, is this a trick played by my eyes? Am I seeing things, or are you alive? I'm so sorry I have to do what he told me. Out of the second story window she goes, through the glass onto the concrete below. Shattering her pelvis and cracking her spine, she gives a dying breath, but she's still alive. Ooh. Just breathe, you're safe here with me. I was so blind, I couldn't see. This is Will Graham. I need ERT at Hannibal Lecter's residence. Jackson Stein. told me I didn't know what to do. Where is he? Behind you. You were supposed to leave. You, you couldn't, couldn't leave, leave without, without me. me. I made a place for all of us. Together, just the three of us For just a moment, time reversed But now it's taken a turn for the worse What was to be a surprise Is now tainted by your lies I let you gaze into my eyes Let you know me, see my design But then you took my precious gift and did with it what you so wished i gave you the gift of friendship and you proved to me you didn't want it you would deny me my life no not your life then deny me my freedom it's 
worse in my eyes Do you believe you could change me As I have changed you I already have And you know that it's true Brought by fate and circumstance The teacup shatters in our hands I'll forgive you when given the chance But for now not even a passing glance Understand the sorrow it brings me To have to ask Will you forgive me? Don't In that blissful moment then you feel yourself so small, so great And then I'll hurl you back again Into that uncertain state no. You can make it all go away Lay your head back and dream Close your eyes and wake Into the quiet of the stream 